all right my name is jp welcome back to my channel we're gonna go through some video games that i found the other day from the charity shop there's a little bit of a haul we've got all these here plus a couple more and then we're gonna go through some solds we haven't really got time to go out to the charity shops today but that's all right we've still got some things to look at so we're gonna start with this it's a little bit sunny as well i'm trying to block that sun a little bit this is ratchet and clank on the ps4 most of these games were about one pound or two pounds each which is absolutely incredible this one was a pound probably worth about seven pounds and then we've got on the ps2 from russia with love 007 james bond that one was one pound probably worth about five to six i think maybe a little more then we've got another ps2 game fire warrior warhammer i remember buying this game when i was a kid really wanted to play this game it was like my popular i was into warhammer and all that and i bought it for like 40 quid when it come out and it wouldn't work on my crappy pc so maybe i'll give that a play because i've not really got to play it it's probably worth about six pounds gran turismo 4 platinum probably not probably not one of the better ones but a pound for that you know it's probably worth five pounds i think i'll flash up all the sold so they will be a bit more accurate didn't even know this game exist id Mr. Bean on the PS2. Just looks like a fun game to play. Uh, maybe a bit more of a rarer one. I don't know. People might need that for their collection if they're trying to collect all the PS2 games, which is ridiculous if they are, but some people are doing that kind of thing. So probably worth about £6, I reckon. And then we've got some 360 games. Resident Evil 6. This one's worth about £6, I think. All these are complete with the manuals as well. I'm not going to show you that because it's not as uh, exciting, but part of me and we've got fracture on the xbox 360 as well this one's worth about six to seven pounds i think and blur some racing game never played this but i, I looked at that and i thought probably not worth anything you know racing games don't really hold that much money but this one's worth about seven pounds i think so not bad at all by the way all these prices are, pr are really like the prices that are listed for on ebay and some of them are free postage so a lot of these are going to be a little bit less if i list them but it is what it is. And then we've got some PC games. PC games I don't pick up a lot. Um, I used to actually just completely ignore them. But there is a lot of value in some of them. There's some value in some of them. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, this one is Fallout and Fallout 2. The only problem is it's missing the other disc. So it's just Fallout 2 in there. Bought for a pound, I thought. I'll pick that up anyway. I think it's at least worth five to six. And if not, you know, I'll keep that. Maybe I'll, I really want to play it. But I ain't got a PC really. I don't even have a a disc drive i do but I, I don't know well anyway call of duty black ops 2 this one i think it's worth about six seven pounds you're seeing a theme here they're all worth about that bit i think i mean i might be wrong i'm just i'm just guessing but uh, this one's a bit more rare i think this is uh disc world noir terry pratchett's latest adventure and it's got all the discs in there never heard of this before had a quick look on the sold so i think that one's worth about 10 to 20 and another pc games faro gold and it's yeah there's a expansion in there as well it's this from a sold out series of games that one's worth about 10 pounds as well i think and then we've got some more rare ones this one might and magic six the mandate of heaven this one, I've seen someone listed this for £35, which is incredible. Souls, I reckon, probably more like 10 to 15 to 20 maybe, if we're real lucky. We'll see about that one. And then we've got a sealed PC game. This is Carmageddon. Jesus, that sun is blinding. This, uh, probably worth about 10 to 15 as well, I think, in sealed condition. If it was like the uh, original without all this nonsense around it you know this is obviously like a, a remake white label whatever that is i don't know but yeah if that was the original with the original uh, artwork and everything on it it's probably worth a bit more and then finally we've got two ps1 games this one is the lesser one elemental pinball i feel i thought i picked this up anyway this was one pound and it's got the manual in there but it is a bit knackered but everything else is in there. 
probably only worth about four to five pounds maybe a even less in that condition, but I thought I'd pick it up anyway because you can't really turn down finding PS1 games in the charity shops. And the last one, which is probably the best game, probably the best pickup, we've got Resident Evil OG PS1, and it's got the manual, it's complete and in pretty good condition as well. So yeah, one pound into potentially 35 pounds, or it'll be for the collection. I can't decide yet. But that's that amazing find. And then we're going to go through some solds. So first up, we've got these A6, A6, Joe Cayano running shoes for men. They were £6 on the charity shop. They sold for £20. And we've got this JVC camera bag. It's like a video camera bag, I guess, because it's a bit bigger. It's not really for you, but you can put any camera you want in there. You can put your little Pixel 8, some other, I don't know what I'm talking about. That was three pounds, sold it for 15. We got this little, little little Star Wars figure. This guy sold for 10 pounds. So he must be a bit more of a rarer figure, I think. He was in a bundle that I bought off eBay. Probably paid about 50p to a pound in total for him. So really nice profit there. And we've got another one from that same bundle, R2D2. This guy sold for seven pounds. Put your leg back, mate. Um, these aren't selling very well for me, these little Transformers figures. Sold this one for £6.35. Probably picked that up for like 50p, so I can't complain. But I've just I picked up loads and loads of Transformers, and it's just really slow to sell. Maybe everything's a bit too high-priced. I don't know. Maybe we'll just put them all in a bundle. Sold this TMNT Ninja Turtles from 1989. Uh, this is the Sewer Slider not that rare of a, a sort of vehicle and it's missing everything so it's missing this bit that's meant to go in here uh, so that sold really cheap for like three pounds fifty or something but i should have just not bothered listing it really i should have put it into a bundle this was a good sale though sold all these pinky and perky figures from 2000s and they were three pounds Sold them all for £18 on off there. Sold this Corgi Saab. What is it? Saab 9000. Really nice little model. Pretty good condition as well. The paintwork's all really good on there. That's why that's going to sell quite quickly, you know. And that sold for £9. That was probably 50p to a pound from Charity Shop. Or Car Boot Sale. Who really knows? This was from a Car Boot Sale. Star Wars Lego on the xbox original xbox i think i paid about a pound for that and it only sold for like four pounds fifty on offer so a few pence in that one but that's okay this hung about for absolutely forever it's a hm armed forces 3d model kit so you can make this like little tank i do sold for like four quid is what it is we sold Summer vintage Lurpak ceramics. This is a toast rack, and we also sold to the same buyer this butter dish as well. Toast rack sold for seven pounds, and this sold for twenty pounds. So look out for this because I would look over that in the charity shop. I'm not gonna lie. I probably I feel like I've seen that loads. Do you know, like one of it's one of those things that you just feel like you've definitely seen about a million times. All right, now we're gonna go for some clothes because this is the big, this is the big money. We sold these crack hoppers. These sold this morning, new, with tags, and they sold for twenty four pounds. I felt like countering the offer. I, I had them up for thirty, but I just, I'm just happy with twenty four pounds. They were only six pounds in the charity shop the other day, so happy to quadruple my money before fees. Obviously, sold these super dry officer jeans. Again, I took an offer on these. I took an even worse offer on these. They, uh, I had them up for 30 and I took them, took it off of 22.50 on them. There's lots of, uh, there's lots of trousers in this, in this sale. It's all these New Balance joggers, active wear trousers, whatever you want to call them. They're more like a sort of track pant, I guess. Got the ankle zips in that. So yeah, for running and all that stuff. 
they were four or five pounds and i sold them for 16 pounds and 19 pence so this all saints cotton sweater this was five pounds in the charity shop sold that for 22 pounds 50. it's a really nice sale there oh oops oops a daisy getting too excited too carried away sold these levi's five four ones these are in really good condition but i took an offer on these my levi's i've just always had i think i've just always put them too high price i feel like i i've got big prices i've got like 40 pounds for them before so i'm like i'm gonna put them higher but then they just don't sell so just learning from that i need to reduce the price not not aim as high with levi's because there's just so much out there even though mine are in really good condition I just can't be getting that price for them. So they only sold for £18. Probably pick them up for like five or six. That's generally what I'll try and pay for Levi's. I don't want to pay any more than that. Because they don't sell that well. Or they do they do sell well. But I don't know. It's a whole thing. You can make a whole video on it. Anyway, sold these Adidas golf trousers. Picked them up for five pounds. Four, four or five pounds. I don't know. And they were selling for £18. So these Levi's, these 501s, yeah, 501s. Picked them up probably five or six pounds again and sold them for 20. We're almost there. We are almost there. So the Rohan Global Convertible Trousers. I knew these would sell quick. They sold really fast. Picked them up in a charity shop the other day for six pounds. Sold them for 22 in probably a day probably a day of listing and they sold so really happy with that uh so these were wranglers these are wrangler texas probably the most popular wrangler jeans i've found the wrangler texas and these sold for 18 pounds again really good condition just standard jeans but they're a bit of a strange size as well they're waist 35 leg 30 so Sometimes you got to look out for those things because obviously someone might want a specific size like that. So some Dickies. Dickies jeans. These were in a bundle that I bought. And they sold for £15. So happy with that. And finally, we just got a nice little polo to up. So remind us that spring is here. It's a Rohan can't remember what the model is but it's just a nice little short sleeve rohan polo shirt and that's everything i'm gonna have to love you and leave you because i've got to pack all this stuff up and then go to work so have a good day and i'll see you in the next video goodbye